everybody. Today we're going to try Mike's Harder Grain Apple. Now, I've been trying to pick up some more of these uh, just to try them. Um, it, it's, it's not that I don't want to pick them up. I just want to find, you know, ones that are still good. I, I did, was it the Molson ones? It, w it was a set of them. Those were beer. This is more of... I don't know. What do they call it? Do they call it a malt liquor? Yeah. Mike's Hard Lemonade Malt Liquor. So they still call this a malt liquor. Uh, but I... And so really the only place that I look for them is Megabev. Uh, that's a local uh, liquor store. Uh, I know they're in Michigan. I don't know if they're anywhere else. But... I stopped in there actually today. I picked up like eight beers or whatever and I looked and I've been looking for the Steel Reserve, the Alloy Series, the Tangerine. So the mystery Steel Reserve um, was Tangerine. So I've been looking for that and they didn't have it and I was like, okay, I'm done. And while we were coming home and there was another liquor store and I was like, oh, I'll stop in there. So I stopped in there. They didn't have it. So I picked up this. Now, I do like green apple. So this was $1.79 plus tax. See, I probably don't even need to take this off. But I've been doing a lot of these, um, I don't know if you want to say cheaper beers or different style instead of craft beers. Um, and I've enjoyed it. I'll, I'll keep picking them up. Um, it's just now I have to check the dates almost like I do on craft beer. Uh, because I've got a couple of them that were years out of date. Because nobody picked them up. So 8% ABV. I did have the standard lemonade version of this and I drank it before uh, I did the review. I actually picked it up for Jessica. But I do like green apple so hopefully this does deliver on the green apple. And for the price $1.79 for 8% how could you go wrong? I mean I'm guessing it is artificial but oh well. Yeah, premium malt beverage with natural flavors and certified colors added. Well, it definitely looks like green apple, no head. Most of these don't have a head. Neon green, Slimer green, high C Slimer green in color. If you're old enough to know high C Slimer. Uh, Lots of bubbles coming up, but I think in most cases like this, I don't even know. I know it's called a malt liquor, but I don't even know what you want to. I, I almost want to say like a wine cooler more than a malt liquor. When I think of malt liquor, I think of 40s at 8% that are beer, barley, and all that. Not something like this. Let's go ahead and smell. Yeah, smells like sour green apple, like the uh, double bubble, the, the bubble gum, the sour green apple. That's what this smells like. A little sweetness in there, like a sweet sour green apple. Let's go ahead and taste. It's like a over sweetened water at the beginning. You do get a little bit of that green apple. Not as much as I thought you would get from the smell of this. It definitely doesn't match the smell. It Yeah, it's almost like... There's too much sweetness in there, thicker sweetness, and it collides with that green apple, and it kind of fades it out. Yeah, it's like it doesn't, 
it, it's like a very sweet green apple in the middle of the palate to the end. It's, uh, it's like I'm waiting on that sourness to kick in and it just never does. I really don't get alcohol. There's a, there's a touch of alcohol taste, but nothing nothing a craft beer wouldn't have. I think it's way over sweetened. Like they need to back down on that sweetness and bring out like it's making my teeth hurt. Um, they need to bring out more of that sour green apple, that green apple taste. That sweetness is just killing it. I would go with a three out of five. It's definitely not a drain pour. It's worth $1.79. It's just, there's no way I could drink more than this one. Like, it's just overly sweet. I don't think they put how many grams of sugar in this thing. Yeah. But yeah, three out of five. Let's check on tap real quick. None of my friends have had it. Uh, 223 people have rated it on untapped 3.24 out of 5. Let's see if anybody actually says anything about it. No. Not one person. Tastes like pucker. No, it doesn't. Chemicals. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, and that's it. It's it, it is loading more, but most of these do not have. Smells exactly like a green apple Jolly Rancher. Tastes very similar to one. No. Added to some sauerkraut sauerkraut soup. What? <laughs> these people. Yeah. It. <sighs> I probably wouldn't pick it up if you're a green apple fan. Um, sour green apple, I, I would pass. I don't think it meets that condition of sour apple. Green apple is going to be sour, at least in my opinion. I don't think it hits it. I would pass on it. But if you do pick it up, you'll be able to drink it. So if you like this review, check some more out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.